Hey folks, Ken and the Data Monkey back again for another episode of Monkey Shorts. And in this episode, we're not going to look at an Excel or Power BI trick specifically. We're going to look at a Windows trick that I think uh, you'll probably find game changing if you don't actually know this. So I'm going to do something now I wouldn't normally do, but it'll get the point across to what's happening here. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go and grab my category from my pivot table here and I'm going to go control C and then control V to paste it over here. I'm going to grab my sales, control C, control V. I'll just make that column a little wider so we can see the numbers came across. I'm going to grab my budget and I'm going to separate this into a separate table for whatever reason I've decided I need to do this. And now what I really need is I need my categories showing right here. So what do you do? Well, when we copy and we paste, of course, the paste buffer gets overwritten. So I've lost category. So what I'm going to need to do is go back and copy it and then paste it again. Except that with this trick, you actually don't. I'm going to press Windows V instead. And what you'll notice is that I get a nice little clipboard history here and here's category. So I'm just going to go click on it and boom, it's in there nicely. So this is actually using the windows clipboard, which is, as I say, windows V instead of control V to paste. This has got some really, really cool features in here. Uh, for reference, this is the windows 11 view. If you're on the windows 10 view, things like pin right here would actually be under the ellipsis menu. Okay. So just keep in mind, it looks a little bit different depending on the version of windows you're on. Uh, but the cool thing about this is that I can go and take a look at these things and pin a couple of different things that I want. And then at the top I can clear all, and this is going to return just the items that I actually pinned, which is really useful. So how do we go about setting this up? Well, here's what's going to happen. We're going to go and we're going to type, uh, we're going to type in our start menu and we're going to go with settings, which I can get to by just pressing windows V. There we are. There's the settings app. You're going to scroll all the way down in this page until you find clipboard right there. There we go. And turn on your clipboard history. Now for me, I tend to work on a desktop during the day and then I might be upstairs on my laptop in the evening and I want to sync my clipboard action across these things because you know, my work is my life. I tend to do the same things in both places. So I've also got this sync across devices turned on on both machines. So now it actually syncs when I'm downstairs. If I copy something, when I get upstairs, it'll already be there in my sync history, which is pretty awesome. And there you go. So now it really comes down to just the clipboard management, right? I mean, if I go back in Windows V, decide I don't need these two things anymore, I'll just take them off, clear it all. There we go. Beautiful. Saves you from having to copy, paste a notepad if you're trying to switch two different things. A lot of different use cases here. So that clipboard history is awesome. I hope you find that this helps you uh, be a little bit more productive in an application and even potentially across applications as well. Thank you for watching this episode of Monkey Shorts. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to click on the Skillwave logo on the bottom left in order to subscribe to our channel. Or if you'd like to see more videos in the series, click on the playlist tile on the right. And if you'd like to get more comprehensive training, you should definitely check out our website at skillwave.training.